BGP communities. In this section, we'll talk about BGP community attribute, which is an optional and trans2 attribute. Now, BGP communities is a method of tagging or marking a set of prefixes, which is going to share a common property. Now, let's take an example to understand much better. Now, BGP community is a method of tagging. I take an example, I have a network called Tendor network advertised by router one. So when I'm advertising the routes to another router, let's say router two, it is also going to carry the network information along with AS path information, origin information, as well as next stop information. So by default, any BGP update will have some well-known attributes, which are by default, it is going to carry. Now I'm going to carry one more information. I'm going to tag this network with some community value of 100. Now, based on that tag, now router two is going to forward the same to router three along with that tag information. Now, router three, either it can do some path manipulation, like let's say router three is connecting to two, two links. Now it can match these routes, not based on the prefixes, based on this tag. Now we can apply some local preference to ensure that it's going to prefer this route, or we can do some route filtering or BGP route filtering, or I can tell that these specific routes, whichever coming with a tag of 100 should not get advertised to another autonomous system number. Maybe it can advertise to this AS, but not to another autonomous system number. Now, this is what we call as BGP communities. It's a method of tagging the routes. And once you apply the tag, it will be carrying along with the routing information. And based on that tag, either we can do some path manipulations like applying the local preference or weight attributes or any other attributes, or we can also deny the specific tag networks should not enter into specific autonomous system numbers. Now, to, to do this kind of tagging, we use BGP community attributes. Now here you can see any BGP router can tag the routes, either it can be incoming or outgoing routing updates, or you can also do at the time of redistribution. Now any BGP, either you can filter also, you can filter the routing incoming updates based on the selected preferred routes based on the community values. Let me take one more scenario or example where BGP communities is more applicable. So I got one customer, let's say customer one, and I got one more customer, customer two. And they both are connecting to my service portal. Let's say this is my service portal. And to exit this service portal, again, I got two different exit paths. And from customer one, I'm receiving 10 dot network. And also I'm receiving 20 dot network. And from customer, Two, I'm receiving 100 dot network and also receiving 200 dot network. So I want to ensure that the my requirement here is so being a service portal, I want to ensure that whatever the traffic coming from this network should enter the service portal, and you should prefer the ISP the exit path one. I can say exit path one, and also the same thing for this network. So I'm going to match some prefixes and these two networks coming from customer one and customer two should exit via exit one. It has to enter the service portal. Similar way, now the networks coming from customer two, the second network from customer one and customer two, these two networks should exit from second exit path, exit two. Now to make this possible, there are multiple ways of doing the things. Like if you remember, if, if you don't know about communities, normally what I can do is I can simply go to my router here, that ISP router, and I can configure, I can match a specific prefixes in ACL, and I can apply the local preference value. Now this is one of the, one of the easiest way of uh, deciding how to exit the autonomous system number. But at the same time, it's, it's very difficult to match these specific routes. So what I can do is instead to make it a little bit more easier, what I can do is I can ask my customer to tag the specific routes here the tendor network will be tagged with let's say one and the 20 dollar network will be tagged with a community value of two now similar way i'm going to tag 100 dot network with one and 200 dot network will be tagged with two value now on this router what i can do is i can create a community list just like we have an access list i can define a community list which is going to match the tag value of one which means it is going to match all the networks, whatever advertised with a tag value of one, which means in our example, it is going to match 10 dot network of customer one and 100 dot network of customer two. And it is going to apply the local preference value of 200 on this router. 
that exit one router so which means now your routes are getting advertised along with the tag information and based on that tag we are doing path manipulation or we can do filtering also i can say don't advertise to this router so there are two two ways uh, there are two reasons for using community tags now similar way what i can do is i can i can tell whatever the routes coming with tag to on this router any routes coming with a tag to it should have the local preference value of 200 on this router so which means all the routes which are coming with a tag value of 1 will exit from this router and all the routes coming with a tag value of 1 exit this router and tag value of 2 will be exiting this router now this path manipulation is done by the upstream routers and the downstream routers are simply they are adding some tag to the routes either one or two okay so it is one kind of uh, bgp route uh, routing policy based on the tagging okay this is one of the common scenario where bgp communities can be used okay now the last thing is bgp by default community values are removed when it is going out of the bgp updates which means just now i said that router one is going to add advertise this 10 dot network 10 dot network will be advertised to router two along with community tag or community value of one and when router one two is advertising to any other router it will remove that community information by default that is a default behavior in bgp so to overcome this what i need to do is i need to use a command called send community so what we'll do is we'll go to router one and pointing towards router three i'm going to say neighbor router three and whatever the ip address we need to give a command called send community now send community command will ensure that when this router is receiving any routes and when it is advertising to this specific neighbor router three it is also going to forward that community tag information also so whenever we are thinking about bgb communities it's it's important for you to add one more command called send community now when when we get into the labs we'll get into more in detail about this behavior of send community command 